I am a chef. I cook delicious food and make people happy with my dishes. I am a police officer. I enforce the law and protect the community from danger. I am a mechanic. I help people with their vehicle problems and make sure their vehicles function properly. I am a fireman. I assist pedestrians and save people from burning buildings. I am unemployed. My wife took the kids and the bank repossessed all of my belongings. I am in a constant state of despair. Please put me out of my misery. In Project Zomboid, you are given the freedom to spec your character exactly suited to your preferred gameplay. This means that you are allowed to choose any positive and negative trait, as well as the profession of your character, at the start of the game. The problem with choosing a profession in Project Zomboid is that not only does it consume quite a lot of points, but it also inclines you to play a certain way. For example, if you take the policeman profession, you are more inclined to use guns as weapons because of the increased points in aiming and reloading. This doesn't necessarily mean that you are forced to play a single way, but just that you are encouraged to. Also, as a new player, or even a veteran, it might be daunting to see all the traits and professions that are available to you. Impatient bitches like me don't have time to read through all the different descriptions and then weigh the pros and cons of each and every option. That is why I wanted a build that was easy but practical. This neutral build will make use of negative traits that can be easily mitigated together with positive traits that can't be grinded in-game. For example, the strength trait can be acquired by grinding the strength skill up to a certain level while the fast learner trait cannot be acquired in any way. Now, moving on to the best neutral build, in my opinion. For the profession, we will be going for unemployed because it gives you 8 free points to spend. Taking any other profession costs 8 points or more. It is wiser to spend these 8 points on traits. Now, for the traits. Let's start with the negative ones. The first negative trait we will be taking is weak stomach. Weak stomach increases the chance of having food illnesses. The only way to get food illness is if you eat rotten or disgusting ass food. So you can just not eat absolutely revolting food, and this isn't a problem. The second negative trait is prone to illness. This trait makes you more prone to disease and increases your rate of zombification. This makes it easier for you to catch a cold if you spend lots of time in a cold or wet environment. You can avoid this by wearing thick clothing to keep you warm and always making sure your clothes are dry. If you do catch a cold, be careful because sneezing alerts the entire zombie population to your location. The third negative trait is smoker. This trait just makes you crave cigarettes, which are in high supply. Just simply keep a pack of cigarettes and a lighter on your character at all times and smoke once a day. This costs zero effort. The fourth and final negative trait is high thirst. This can be debatable as a neutral build trait because it requires you to have an abundance of an essential resource. Water, however, is very abundant in the early days when electricity and running water are still available. Even after it shuts off, there is still going to be lots of water left in toilets and sinks. And if you still need more, you can simply create rain barrels and put them on the roof of your base or any building. Those are all the negative traits we will choose because anything else would negatively impact our character more than necessary. Now, for our positive traits. For this, we will choose traits that are unique and useful. The first positive trait is Speed Demon. This isn't really necessary, but we do have one extra point, and driving fast won't hurt you. Unless you're shit at driving. You can choose to leave this alone if you're not a confident driver, but you'll have one extra point that won't be spent. The second positive trait is Dexterous. This makes you transfer items 50% faster. You can really tell the difference between playing with Dexterous and without. This trait is a must-have. 
The third positive trait is fast reader. This increases your reading speed by 30%. I usually play with Cat's Reading Mod, which makes reading much more practical. I definitely recommend this mod. So Cat's Reading Mod plus Fast Reader makes reading books feel like a breeze. The fourth trait we're getting is Brave. This trait makes you panic 30% less. You panic every time you see or fight zombies, which decreases your damage and speed. Being brave decreases your panic, therefore increasing your damage and speed. Very useful trait. The fifth one is Lucky. Lucky gives you a 10% chance to find rare loot such as better guns, tools, and weapons. It also increases your foraging distance. The sixth positive trait is Fast Learner. This increases your XP gains for all skills by 30%, except strength and fitness. This makes grinding so much easier, you will be able to level up your skills much faster. The seventh and final positive trait is Organized. This increases every container's inventory capacity by 30%. This means that not only will your inventory capacity increase, but so will every bag, drawer, locker, and trunk that you access. This is very practical because you can store so much more items. Here is the full build once again for everyone to see. This build does not have any major negative side effects, but it has some very good positive benefits. You can tweak this as you wish to your preference depending on your playstyle. That's it for my default build in Project Zomboid. I want to clarify that this is just my opinion for now, because I have not yet had the time to scientifically analyze every statistic for this build, because my mother is currently busy using our science laboratory. I'll be sure to give an update whenever the laboratory is free. So do not cancel me in the comments and say oh my god, that's wrong. This trait gives you one extra point and you can use it for this, and then you can do that how about you shut the fuck up. Bitch. I love you. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below any other videos you want me to make. Thanks for watching.